So this is a quick video review of the XP Pen Starro 3. Um, I'm using it on Windows 10 and using it mostly on Lightroom and Photoshop as I do a lot of photography editing for my studio. So far the tablet's been absolutely fantastic. I love how it is adaptable and you can change the hotkeys all on the side down here. You've got quick toggles on the buttons on your pen as well, which isn't active, it's passive, so you don't need to keep charging the pen, which is actually fantastic. It comes with a tiny little holder as well, which is magnetic. You just store your pen inside it there, or you can lay it on top. It comes with some extra styluses that you store inside of there as well. So moving on to the actual software side, you've got a very good tablet space, which is fantastic. And moving up to the screen, this is Photoshop open at the moment and just to show you a quick way of how easy it is to use this tablet. Let's get this running. So I'm not sure if you can see the cursor. Just there. So I go over to some of the actions that I already have set out. Let's go for the red tool that I've already got selected. So I play that one so you can see what's actually going on a bit more easily. I'm going to make it so that the visible space is red. So that's the brush tool at the moment that I have loaded. So I can colour in the area I'm editing very, very well. I've set up my hotkeys so that I can change the brush sizes up and down. And I can go to the erase button as well and things like that. So it's absolutely fantastic to get that sort of thing up and running. Carry on brushing, or you can go to the erase tool, and you can see that working a treat there as well. You can also toggle between those two buttons, an option on the pen as well, which is fantastic. Moving over to Lightroom, again you can program the features in here. I use Photoshop mostly, so it's not such a big issue for me to have these features for Lightroom. What I do use is um, one of the brushes which just lightens the area. So it's just to kind of boost some of the shadows on the face. And you can see that has worked to treat and it shows you the area that I've done. Again, you can use the erase tool on the pen to get rid of the finer details and things and then export it across. But that's really fantastic. You can also read documents and browse the website and do all sorts of things. The hotkeys are pretty much endless. It's all the control, the alt and the window kind of hotkeys that you can put in there. But yeah, so far so good. The tablet's absolutely fantastic and I probably couldn't recommend a better one that isn't a screen one as well. So definitely worth getting if you enjoy doing your photo editing or even just browsing and things like that.